Hello friends and welcome to this very exciting video tutorial where I'm going to show you how I set up my layers and symbols when I'm creating an animation in Adobe Flash. Now keep in mind there are various ways to do this, I'm just going to show you one way that works with a particular style, but I think it might help you. So before I start, uh, this uh, way I'm going to show you works best with short animations, and by short I mean uh, if you're going to make something longer than two minutes, you probably want to want to uh, separate the, the scenes or, the, or your shots in .fla files, but anyway, this, this works with a, let's say, 30 second animation to about two minutes. So let's get into it. In this uh, file, I sort of have a, a very simple mock-up, like very, very simple, as you can see, uh, just two characters, uh, you know, very happy there and uh, on a very simple background. So on my first layer, I have a background, which is just this sort of line I have here. On the second layer, I have a character one, which is a symbol. And as you can see, if I select it, it's a graphic symbol. And this is very important to take note of. They're all graphic symbols. And in a second, well, in about a minute, we're going to see why. On layer three, I have character number two. And on the fourth layer, I have audio, which is the voice of the characters. If you're going to have, a, let's say, a background music, you're probably going to want to have that on a separate layer. And the reason why I have this like this is because uh, I don't think it's, uh, it's good to have the audio on the same layer as your characters. Just to have everything uh, separated and uh, it's easier to edit it that way. Now, on the fifth layer, I have something... Uh, well, a layer called shots. This is how I separate sort of the scenes I'm gonna have on my file. I don't use, I don't typically use the scenes feature in Flash. I just uh, separate it on, let's say, frame 30. It's gonna be a change in the scene. Frame 60 on this, on this part particular document. So I just select the frame, and on the frame label, I type in whatever I want. You know, the, the name of the shot or the scene or whatever so in this case i just call it shot one and just on frame 30 if i want to you know here as you can see i have a, a close-up so i just type in there shot two so it's easier for me to uh, you know in my mind see visually where the shot is gonna end etc so okay now the important thing to note here is that uh this style i'm showing you of organizing thing is for nested symbols and by nested I mean well nested that they are uh, inside of each other so as you can see I'm gonna double click on the on character one before I double click just know that there are a hundred frames on my main timeline okay that's very important to uh, take note of and when I double click on character one as you can see there are a hundred frames and um, they're the same amount as the uh, main timeline. And I have two layers, it's basically the body and the head. So I'm gonna double click on the head. And as you can see, there are 100 frames as well. Now this is important because we want to uh, sync everything that's happening on the symbols that are inside with the main timeline. So we have 100 frames, uh, which is the size of our movie, the length. I'm sorry, I think, yeah, it's the length, but anyway. Uh, and here inside the H, uh, CH, or character one head, we have a very simple animation, which is just the uh, mouth sort of uh, uh, moving. Um, and, um, okay, now we're gonna double click to go outside, double click again to go to the main timeline. And as you can see, it was about uh, frame 55 where we had the mouth movement. And if we move in the main timeline, you can see there it is on about frame 55 or frame uh, yeah 57, the mouth starts to move. And as you can see on the main timeline, timeline we don't have any keyframes but it's still moving because it's a graphic symbol. And if you select it, you're going to see that I have the option set to play once. So. Uh, one thing that's very important when you do this is that you select the symbol on frame one, select the option play once, you can loop it single frame, I, I think it's best to select play once, and select frame one. What's that, what that's going to do is it's going to, starting on this frame, it's going to run the animation inside my character one symbol starting from frame one. So that's why it's syncing on the same frame and just to double check, double check uh, on frame 30, select the character, and as you can see, it says it's going to start on frame 30, but starting from frame 30 on the main timeline. So that's something you, uh, you have to check sometimes because it's sort of off-syncs or something like that. 
but yeah so as you can see there it is it's syncing and um, you know just some frame uh, 60 I just changed the character this uh, doesn't actually animate on this example but I think you get an idea of how sort of things work as, as I said before if you're making something probably longer than a minute and a half or two minutes you're probably gonna be best uh, separating the your shots or your scenes into different different FOA files and then uh, putting them together in some uh, video editing software but if you're making short you know animations I think this uh, method works best just make graphic symbols set them to uh, play once you know, if, if you have something that loops, we'll set it to loop. But in general, if you want things to sync, like the lip sync and, uh, you know, the character arms moving at the same time as, as you want something else to happen, you see everything happening on the main timeline, but the actual animation is happening inside the symbols. So I hope this video helped. I know it's a bit confusing, and if you're starting with Flash, so I recommend you watch other, you know, basic or... Uh, or something like that tutorials uh, about symbols but this is a, a cool way to set up your characters where you don't have like a ton of layers on your main timeline so hope it helps and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye